Hi, I'm Dr. Steve Rittner of the Rittner Floral School in Boston, Mass. We'd like to welcome you into one of our classrooms today. We've got a terrific demonstration planned for you. I think you're really going to enjoy it. What is the theme today? Fall. It's fall here in New England, and we love this particular season of the year. And we've got some really, really cool things that go along with it. The colors are great. We've got holidays like Halloween, Thanksgiving, and so forth. But what I like especially about the fall is the fact that we can play with things like yellows, oranges, browns, reds, and things like that to come up with some incredible designing. And so today's design we call our fantastic fall centerpiece, our fantastic fall centerpiece. And I think you're really going to enjoy the construction of this. If you look closely at the container, what you see is a glass container. It's a square. It's around 8 inches on one side by 8 inches on the other. We've got some foam already mounted in it. It actually took a couple of blocks of foam, and we have it totally surrounded with some of our foliage. In this particular case, we're using aspidistra leaves. Now, to make this fantastic fall centerpiece, we're going to use some fantastic fall flower. For example, who can go wrong with this? Hydrangea. Hydrangea. This has been coming in particularly well during the late summer in August, and we're getting it in in September here in New England. It's absolutely incredible. It's beautiful. The varieties that we have here, as you can see, have green, dark green, light green, a little bit of our red violet mixed in. It's absolutely great. We're going to start off our fantastic fall centerpiece with some pieces of our hydrangea. You can't go wrong, because if you take some of your hydrangea and work it into your piece like so, look, one piece here, another piece that I'm going to cut and I'm going to place over onto this side. Look at how big that is. It's big, it's showy. You can't help but fill space very, very nicely with it. I'm going to take another piece of my hydrangea and I'm going to place it over towards the back of the design because this is a fairly deep design where it's 8 inches over here and 8 inches deep as well. So that starts our design off really, really nicely. It doesn't take very much of the material and we can come up with a really cool effect. Now, you never can go wrong with these, roses. Roses are a beautiful flower. They are the national flower. People love them. And so we're going to add some of our roses to our composition as well. And I'm going to cut these and I'm going to put them in fairly close. I'm going to place one over on this side. And I think I'm going to work another one of my roses in here towards the center of the front. And then I'm going to take but another one of my roses and I'm going to work it over on this side as well so that we've got a few of our roses worked into this and we're going to come up with something very very interesting making use of that right from the get-go let's take a few more of our roses and work them in but work them in towards the center of the design and I know that it's kind of hard for you my viewer to see it here but I'll raise it up a little bit so that you can see from this angle let's take another one and place it over here you can see this is coming together very very nicely for us and not all that hard to do. I'm going to take another rose and place it over onto this side here because we do want to have some depth into our arrangement. So you can see that we're coming up with something very, very pretty, very, very easily. But I'm not going to just stop with some red roses. Red roses are all good and fine, but at this time of the year, of course, some of the things like our yellow roses will work very, very well too. So I'm going to take some yellow roses and work them in and just give me a second my viewer as I cut a couple of flowers so that they'll fit and I'm going to work one right over here and look how that really makes a statement it's big it's showy it's bold I'm going to take another one of my yellow roses and work it over onto this side so you can see that the addition of these flowers really make it easy and fun to come up with our incredible fantastic fall centerpiece I'm going to work one up a little bit higher here and I'm going to take another one of my roses and I'm going to work it over here on this side. These flowers just make it so easy for us to come up with beautiful effects. Now I'm going to work another one of my roses coming back to the back side of the design. I realize my viewer it's hard to see from here but we can also work some things towards the back part here or here so that we can have it look really nice no matter what angle you happen to be viewing it at. Now to me Fall is not really uh, complete without some of these, our palms. 
Look at these, aren't these gorgeous? It's a novelty kind of palm. It's kind of got a, a bronzy brown color here. It's got some yellow on the fringes of it, a cute little kind of green center to it. It's absolutely gorgeous, it's pretty. So let's work a few of our novelty palms into this design because that's going to add contrast to our design. And notice, I'm taking just a little cluster. Normally we like to break our flowers down, but in this particular case, clusters of these things work very, very well. I put a cluster of it over here. I'm gonna take another little cluster I'm going to cut it down. Just give me a second, my viewer, as I do a little bit of chip chopping here. And then I'm going to work this one over here towards the back part of the design. I'm going to place another little bit of our uh, clustered flowers over here. So I've got another little cluster of our bronze novelty palms in there. That's coming along very, very nicely for us, isn't it? Let's take another bit of our uh, clustered palms and work them over here as well. And I'm going to work it right over here, over onto the side of our design. And I'm going to just slightly adjust my rows over here as well. So we have our rows here and our palms coming just behind that. That's coming along very, very nicely. Now let's see, what other mischief can we do on this design? Oh, well, here's something that'll work very, very nicely for me. We've got some of our uh, a few pieces of our Alstroemeria. Alstroemeria is a beautiful flower. And I happen to have a few, uh, a little stem here that happens to be yellow. So I'm going to tuck in just some yellow Alstroemeria back here. Gives a very, very pretty effect. And then we also happen to have some other varieties of palms that are available to us. For example, these are a daisy variety of palm. And it happens to be, again, a very, very pretty flower. It's yellow, very, very good lasting flower. So I'm going to take a few of the stems off of here, off of my uh, uh, stem here. And then I'm going to work a few of these in just for a little bit of variety. And I think you can see that this is going to just add a little touch of color and contrast in terms of variety of flower, color of flower, and so forth. So we're going to work a couple of these right over here. And then I'm going to, my viewer, work something over back on this side. It's kind of funny because I am doing a design here that is meant to be viewed all the way around. And so while I'm putting things here towards the front, I'm also placing a few of our stems in towards the other side of the design to face in that direction as well. So a few of those certainly help. Now to finish off our fantastic fall design, uh, it's not going to be complete without some oak leaves. We've got some incredible leaves here. These are treated leaves. They're gorgeous. They have reds and oranges and browns and so forth in them. They're very, very pretty. They're available around this time of year. They're great. And so I'm going to take a few of these and then work them just in between a little bit here and there. And it doesn't take very many, but look how that's going to give me a little brightness of color and really jazz the thing up. So I'm going to place something over here. I'm going to place another one over on this side here. In other words, it gives us a little bit of contrast in our design. And so I'm going to take another one and place it over on this side too so that we have some of our uh, oak leaves worked in here as well. Well, what do you think, my viewer? Beautiful, isn't it? It's rich looking. It's rich. It's interesting. We have a combination of interesting things here. We happen to have some of our oak leaves here that we've just placed. We have hydrangea. We have red roses, yellow roses. We've got a little Alstroemeria, some novelty palms, some daisy palms that are yellow. It's gorgeous, and it's very, very fun to do. And that's the whole idea behind it, my viewer. If you notice this design, we call our fantastic fall centerpiece. It's fun. It's easy, and that's the whole idea behind it, because floral designing can be and should be fun and easy. Anybody can learn to do floral designing if it's taught properly. And I hope you could see from this brief example how we can come up with a design that's showy, fun, very prestigious in terms of the materials, something that can grace your table very, very quickly and easily. You can do this with materials you can find at your local florist or at your mass market. Uh, they look beautiful. It gives a great show. And people coming into your home are going to look at this and say, wow, did you make that? Hey, this is a gorgeous arrangement. My viewer, I thank you for coming in and visiting us at Rittner Floral School today. At Rittner's, we've got courses that are long, short, day and evening, 
Come on back, check out our website at www.floralschool.com. Again, I thank you for visiting with us today.